If you are a fan of high fashion and all those classy, sleek, top-quality leather bags, then a Louis Vuitton would be at the top of your bucket list. There exist dozens of other luxury leather brands, but LV stands apart. Trust us, it has a league of its own. But, well, how exactly did it come about? How did this label, started by an ambitious designer way back in 1854, make its way to become the fashion mogul of today's times? That's why we're here. Today in this video, we will take you for a ride through LV's journey to the top. What made it the top leather luxury brand in the world, and what drives its success? Together, we'll understand the forces at play, the strengths and the weaknesses that propelled this French mega giant to the forefront of the luxury industry. Welcome to Wealthy Mindset, where we explore unique and breathtaking angles from the world of money, economics, personal finance, and investing. But before we get started, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to never miss another video. Had it not been for the French designer Louis Vuitton's migration to Paris, where he mastered his skills of luxury bags, the wife of Napoleon III wouldn't have appointed him as her royal purse maker. What followed was the establishment of his luxury bags company, Louis Vuitton, in 1854. Vuitton's luxury bags had a special edge over the others, owing to the use of canvas fabric instead of leather, which were durable and waterproof. Not only that, he also made flat-designed trunks instead of round ones, which quickly became the talk of the market owing to its durability and ease of use. In 1888, Louis introduced a new pattern named Damier Canvas Pattern for the purposes of persistent, unique designs and innovative creations. In no time, his name crossed state boundaries and became famous in elite circles. Since the beginning itself, he worked for the upper classes and made his place as the one-stop solution for his royal clientele, who purchased functionality and class. In 1896, the LV monogram, the LV logo with the two alphabets, was introduced, which is recognized by people all over the world, even till today. The company today has a net worth of $130 billion, with only behind Gillette in the list of world's most valuable brands. Operating in more than 460 stores across over 50 countries, it has built its extensive network of individual shops, boutiques, retail shops, and departmental shops. Louis Vuitton remained at the pinnacle of the 10 most powerful brands list published by the Millward Brown Optimore's 2011 brand study for six consecutive years. So, to what does this fashion giant owe its success to? Well, firstly, its ever-persistent endeavor to prioritize quality over quantity. The tradition has been followed for over 150 years, right from Louis Vuitton himself, who not only focused on style and creativity, but also quality and durability. The reason being, all LV bags and leather accessories undergo a very strict durability test, which eliminates any kind of under-the-rug products that are not up to the mark. Made of excellent quality cowhide, which changes its shades from light brown to dark over time, LV accessories are subject to tests like dropping from over 2 feet with 8 pounds weight for 4 days straight, exposing it to UV ray to test color durability, and zipping it for over 5,000 times for zip quality. The tests are performed individually on all bags and purses. The crux of the matter being, even if an LV bag or purse burns a hole in your pocket because it costs hundreds or thousands of dollars, you won't have to worry about its state your entire life. It sticks, and it sticks really good. Fashion industries run on desire, and LV sure does create that desire. Secondly, the marketing strategy plays a vital role in propelling the wheels of the Louis Vuitton brand image. LV ticks all the checkboxes when it comes to good media coverage and hiring excellent designers. Since the very origin, Louis worked with the best designers and models in the industry. Designers like Helmut Lang, Azadine Alaya, Steven Sprouse, Sibylla, Vivian Westwood worked with Louis Vuitton, with celebrities like Jennifer Lopez, Angelina Jolie, Uma Thurman, Sean Connery modeling their products. Thirdly, the aura of exclusivity is yet another factor. 
You heard it right. When people realize that their product is difficult to get and not everyone can get their hands on it, then the desire and comparative economic utility of the product multiplies. Plus, when certain bags are available for sale only for a limited period of time, under the aegis of exclusive limited series, people are lured into spending top dollar just to get their hands on this limited edition product. Moreover, to maintain its exclusivity, LV is also known to have destroyed a certain number of excessive bags and purses so as to maintain its price. It follows a strict policy of production output variation, directly proportional to the demand, slightly changing the high production costs and preventing the loss of exclusiveness. Sometimes, due to potentially less demand, some products are deliberately made in limited numbers. For example, only 85 pieces of 2018 Royal Wedding Petite Mal purses were manufactured, clearly showing why it sold at a whopping price of $16,500. Yes, you heard that right. And last but not least, its vertically integrated stores, eliminating the third wheel of dealerships, gives it complete control of the supply chain. It implies that LV not only owns the factories, but also leases the department stores and brand venues. Essentially, there is no sale of products at a wholesale price to dealers, who then might gauge demand and offer discounts. Hence, yet again maintaining its exclusivity. This is how Louis Vuitton made its place as the fashion mogul of the world, signifying synonymy with all good things in a French lifestyle. If you own it, you are supposedly a part of a very narrow customer market and an elite group of people who adorn class, style, and elegance. So what do you feel about the real-life rags-to-riches journey of this multinational fashion tycoon which made its way to the top? Do you think the price one pays for LV bags is actually justified? Let us know your views in the comments section. Subscribe and hit that bell icon below to never miss another Wealthy Mindset video, especially if you're interested in unexplored topics and interesting stories just like this one. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time!